Hello, beautiful people. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, we're going to be making some oatmeal cookies with pecans and raisins. Mmm. If this is your first time here, welcome. Leave a hashtag welcome in the comments so I'll know you here. I am excited about these oatmeal cookies. I did leave you a list of ingredients if you decide to make them yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, let's get started. To our bowl, we're going to add half a cup of softened butter. We're going to take about a minute to make that creamy and smooth. Make sure your butter is soft and not melted. We want to always scrape the sides. We don't want to leave nobody out. Now we're going to add half a cup of granulated sugar. We're going to mix this very well to make sure we do not have any lumps of sugar. Again, scraping the sides of the bowl. Now let's add half a cup of packed brown sugar. We're going to break that sugar up and then we're going to blend it very well. At this time, I'm going to use my baby whisk to just bust the egg yolk open. And just whisk for maybe 30 seconds. We're gonna add that egg to our bowl. Now we're adding pure vanilla extract. We're gonna mix that until creamy. Now let's start with our dry ingredients. One cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of freshly ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of old-fashioned oats. We're going to mix very well until all the ingredients are totally combined. At this time, we're going to mix our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. Also, I did preheat the oven at 375 degrees. This is an important step to make sure that you mix it very, very well. So you do not get any bites of flour bites of oats you want to make sure it's mixed very well always always scrape the side of the bowl and the bottom of the bowl because flour has a tendency to hide there hey guys we're almost done already wasn't that quick yes jackie it was we're adding in a half a cup of pecans and a half a cup of raisins if you like coconut put that in there too we're going to mix all these ingredients together for the best oatmeal cookies you've ever had in your life. We're going to be using our ice cream scooper to lay these cookies down. And we're going to put them approximately two inches apart. And I have the large ice cream scooper because size matters and the bigger the better. They smell incredible. We're going to put these babies in the oven and let the house just saturate with the smell for 15 minutes. And they are ready, guys. Look at that. You want one? They are soft, chewy, and crunchy at the same time. If you can wait for these to cool off before you eat one, you have more willpower than me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.